I'm not an artist, but I think that one of the problems that I see for a lot of artists is that uh, they become separated out from communities. Even if they come from those communities, the, the process of being educated in art, the process of making a name for yourself in art is frequently to take you out of that altogether, to take you out of your community, take you out of your class and everything else, right? So I find it really wonderful when I see that artists resist that and go back in to the class and the community they came from. You know, if, if you think of uh, Mexico, the established muralists back in, back in the early 20th century, Orozco, and especially Rivera and Siqueiros, they were established artists, they were world famous, and yet they continued to paint politics back in for the, for, for the Mexican Revolution. But that's actually, I think, rare for artists. Most artists get taken out of the situations that they come from. Uh, I think then the advantage, I'm agreeing with you, the advantage for locally based artists, or locally based activists who paint is that people know exactly who they are, know exactly where they're coming from. And it's not just that they know them because of their paintings, they know them because they know their kids. They know them because they maybe shared a jail cell with them when they were in jail. They know them through the whole cobweb of, of, of linkages that a community is, right? And so that's really important. That helps them speak for the community and it helps the community instantly recognize what it is they're trying to say.